In today's investigation, we will determine the concentration of ascorbic acid or vitamin C using reduction oxidation titrations. So the first step to accomplish this is we will develop a standard curve using solutions of vitamin C of known concentrations. And so we'll create a curve, a graph, that you can then compare the unknown sample against to determine the concentration. So let's look at the materials that we need to get started and we'll dive right into this. Fill the 250 milliliter beaker with pure water. Place a pipette with the water. Write the following labels on the three 10 ounce plastic cups. Ascorbic acid, waste, unknown. Measure out 0.5 grams of ascorbic acid into a teared weigh boat. Transfer the ascorbic acid to the 10 ounce plastic cup labeled ascorbic acid. Add 250 milliliters of pure water to the plastic cup. Stir with the spoon until completely dissolved. Place a pipette with the ascorbic acid to be used with this solution. Prepare the sample of unknown concentration. Fill the medicine cup between 50 and 100% full with the ascorbic acid solution. Transfer the ascorbic acid from the medicine cup to the 10 ounce cup labeled unknown. Add an additional 50 milliliters of pure water. Prepare the DCPIP solution by adding exactly 100 milliliters of pure water to the brown bottle. Use the 50 milliliter graduated cylinder to measure the water. Cap the DCPIP bottle and shake to dissolve. Activity 1 Developing a Standard Curve Use the disposable pipette to add approximately 2 milliliters of distilled water to the 25 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. Add a single drop of DCPIP solution to this flask. The solution will turn blue. This is the color that indicates the end point. Empty the flask into the 10 ounce waste cup. Rinse the flask with pure water from the 250 milliliter beaker using the disposable pipette and empty the rinse water into the waste cup. Fill the syringe with DCPIP solution. Fill the plastic medicine cup approximately half full with DCPIP solution. Fill the syringe with this DCPIP solution to the 5 milliliter mark. If there are any air bubbles in the syringe or in the tip, empty the solution back into the cup until the air bubbles are gone. Perform the titration for the 0.5 grams per liter ascorbic acid solution. Transfer 0.5 milliliters of the ascorbic acid stock solution to the flask. Also add 1.5 milliliters of distilled water. Transfer DCPIP to the flask dropwise from the syringe 
until the solution in the flask has a distinct blue hue similar to what was seen in step four. Gently swirl the flask as needed to achieve a uniform color. Take a picture of the flask and record the final volume of the solution in the syringe. Empty the flask into the 10 ounce cup for waste. Rinse the flask with pure water from the beaker using the disposable pipette and empty the rinsed water into the waste cup. Refill the syringe with DCPIP to the 5 milliliter mark. Perform the titration for the 1.0 gram per liter sample. Transfer 1 milliliter of the ascorbic acid stock solution to the flask. Add 1 milliliter of pure water to the flask. Perform the titration using the same steps as above. Empty and rinse the flask with pure water. Record the final volume of the solution in the data table. Perform the titration for the 1.5 grams per liter ascorbic acid sample. Transfer 1.5 milliliters ascorbic acid stock solution to the flask. Add 0.5 milliliters of pure water to the flask. Follow the same procedure as the other titration.
perform the titration for the 2.0 gram per liter ascorbic acid sample. Transfer 2 milliliters of ascorbic acid to the flask. Do not add any additional water. Follow the same procedures. Titrating the unknown concentration. Transfer 2 milliliters of the unknown sample to the 25 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. Refill the syringe with DCPIP to the 5.0 milliliter mark. Transfer DCPIP to the flask dropwise from the syringe until the solution in the flask has a distinct blue-green hue. Gently swirl the flask as needed to achieve a uniform color. Record the final volume of the solution in the syringe. Empty the flask into the 10 ounce cup for waste. Rinse the flask with pure water and empty the rinse water into the waste cup. Repeat the titration of the unknown concentration two more times. This concludes the experiment portion of this lab. Dispose of any unused chemicals down the drain with excess running water. Wash and dry all lab equipment and return it to the equipment kit.